Hi guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how you can create highly reusable components in React. So let's get started. So for starters I have a simple React application using TypeScript. I just created it right now. And let's go ahead and create a directory inside the SRC called components. And let's create our component for the purpose of this tutorial. And let's name it custom button dot tsx as we are using typescript and let's go ahead and write a simple component with the name custom button which returns um let's see return button a simple button okay and let's give it a text custom button so that we are uh, so that we can see it and let's just export the component right now export default custom button okay and let's go to, to app.tsx and import the custom button so these are like the very basic uh, things of react like you can import a component inside your inside another component and inside another page and let's go ahead and create an interface called custom button props and here uh, after importing FC from react let's just use the interface in our custom component so basically what this does is it listens to the interface called custom button props so let's do something let's give it a prop called class name and let's define that prop inside our interface it will be of type string and let's use that prop inside of our component class name is equal to class name and back to app.tsx we can say class name is equal to some class for example something like this so this is basically what uh how you would do a reusable component like this is this, this is the crux of it okay and now uh okay let's just look at another example again for better understanding let's say we want to give it a disabled value and we will say disabled is equal to disabled okay and then when we go back you can see that this button is indeed disabled as you can see okay and then let's go back to the code and there is a much better way of writing all this that's the purpose of making this video let's delete all that let's go back to our custom component and delete all this so we can go ahead and change our interface method and we can extend our interface like this so we can write interface custom button props extends let's see react dot html attributes and we'll say um, let me see html button element what is the error that I'm seeing okay it's because I haven't closed the braces so as you can see what this does is when in ext extending the interface uh, we can get to use all of the common HTML button properties instead of the component where it is being reused right so this is actually very cool so you can see you have all these properties if you control uh, space uh, or control click on uh, you know where you are going to do going to define the props of the custom component so as you can see if you want something like aria label or on submit uh, so these are like the common properties that a button has so just by extending the interface you can get all this without having to rewrite anything inside of our uh, custom button.tsx you can also define custom properties so for example if 
you want some property that a common uh, HTML button element does not have. For example, if you want a disabled boolean value, you can just define it like this. And you can say disabled and here you can give, okay, here let's see, let's create a button. Uh, wait, let's see, custom button. And here I can I can give props like this right so let's just console out the props and see what is actually happening and what all access we have okay let's go to the page and refresh it as you can see the button is disabled and you can see that the app uh, yeah in the console you can see the props are there okay let me remove the debug point yeah so as you can see uh, when we console out the props value it has aria label is equal to custom button like you you can see on the screen right now so let's go back and give let's let's give the props value to that button like this okay and then let's 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 see so you can see it is disabled our label is the custom button and yeah let's give it a class name like we did in the beginning bg right we defined it in the styles that it has it should have a background of red you can do it in the style sheet uh, okay let's do something over here so this is how the color is coming and you can see that when we console out the props you can see aria label as well as the class name is being consoled out so this is what i wanted to talk to you guys about in this video if you like my video go ahead and like it and please subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video peace